This video is going to show how to batch pick orders and also do it by barcodes. So in the sales app you have your sales orders. Um, those will be generated by uh, being synchronized with Shopify um, or WooCommerce or uh, Amazon. And so the, it'll tell you which channels they came from and they'll be synchronized as a sales order that is uh, also going to create your delivery order. So let's jump into our delivery app. So in our delivery app, we see that we have five orders to process. And when we click into those, we can see the status of the order. Um, and if we clicked out of this filter, we can see all of our orders that we've completed uh, or have in the system so far. So now if we go back to ready, we could also group by what is scheduled for today. So if we wanted to see orders for specifically uh, July 15th, we can see those here. And then from here, we can select which orders we want to add to the batch. So if we want to select these two orders and add to batch, we can create a batch um, for those orders and I can select who will work on that. So I can select Colin's going to work on this batch and then it assigns the batch to those orders. I can also say, all right, uh, bed and breakfast incorporated, we're going to add to a batch as well. And so I can create a batch and select who's responsible for that batch. So now I can go into my batch transfers and I can see here all of my batch options. And so I can click into my batch and confirm that this uh, employee can work on it. So now from here, when the employee, I can print out the batch as well. So if they want to uh, use a pick list to process the batch, they can. If you have barcodings turned on, it will show the uh, barcodes for the orders there as well as the barcode for the products. And so they can process with a paper slip as well, a paper pick list. They can also go into our inventory app. So now we see uh, our back transfers are ready. If we go into our inventory overview, we still have five to process. And if we go into our barcoding app, the orders that the manager assigned to me, I can go into my advanced transfers and see what uh, batches I have to process. So I can click on this one and then I can use my barcode gun or my mobile device. I could use an Android or iOS device to process these as well. And all I do is scan the barcode. It reserves that inventory for this order. And then the big button at the bottom of the screen validate highlights green so you know it is ready to uh, be processed. So then I can go back to my next and I can scan in my inventory via my mobile device and then I can validate the inventory. So now that I'm done, it shows that I have no more orders to work on. But if the uh, manager assigned me more orders, I could uh, see those show up here. And so now the manager who is handling uh, the overall process of making sure all the orders are fulfilled can go in and see uh, what has to still be worked on and they can group by ready or filter by ready. Um, if you go from the inventory overview and click this one to process then you can get directly there. And so now I see I have one more order to process and I could add that to a batch or uh, process it via barcode as well. So. Um, if you had an order that didn't need to be processed via a batch, you could go in and just simply manage the delivery. So you could click on that order and see this person is ordering one computer and you can scan that in and validate. So now you have no more orders to process. When we go to the operations, we see zero to process. Everything has been processed for the day. So. If you have any questions, please contact CKA at odoo.com.